Right. Oh, there's two of them? No, that's not. Oh, you're thinking that's mom? Oh, that makes me. Okay, then that, that's probably mom then. Because that one still looks pretty small. Ear protection required. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing? Walking across the dam. Dam. See the dam? <laughs> Where are we? Uh, Bernie. Bernie Falls. Oh, uh, that's. Should we be worried about the? Huh? Should we be worried about the yeah. sound? This was another one of my favorite sections. It just seemed like there was always something more around the next corner, and I was here for it. There was an incredible amount of flowers in this area. I thought the desert had a lot, but Northern California had my heart, as usual. Being surrounded by butterflies and other animals all the time really made me feel like I was in a Disney movie. And even these fat and fuzzy bees had me wanting to start singing. And I was feeling ready for the trail ahead. Unfortunately, some of our friends were beginning to experience the NorCal blues. This can generally be attributed to a few things. First and foremost is that mental game we talked about earlier. Having walked over a thousand miles and still being in the same state will drive anyone nuts, especially those East Coast folks that can walk across state lines in a single day. Second is the heat. We had just finished waiting out a heat wave. Over a week of daily temperatures over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And we weren't going to see temperatures below 90 degrees for the next month or so. Another thing that I can't help but think about is that our body's ability to create endorphins that help fuel our adventure have to be running on empty. Now hear me out. Everyone that I met on trail had cried at some point. Everyone. For one reason or another. This is a beautiful drop of endorphins into your body. Crying is known to relieve both physical and emotional pains. We know that exercise is great for your body as well, but after gaining your hiker legs, a person tends to plateau. I wonder if the psychological effects of exercise can plateau as well. There's a lot of quiet time on the trail. No amount of music, podcasts, audiobooks, or small talk could possibly fill the days of silence that we experienced out there. There's time to be happy and time to be sad. There's time to be angry and throw your shoe off a mountain. And there's time to be still. A stillness that is only attained after going through all of the other emotions first. Maybe that's what the NorCal Blues is really about. Whether we were running away from something, that's what everyone thinks we're doing out there, right? Or just having the adventure of a lifetime. I was finding that peace within that I had been longing for my entire life. That ability to roll with the punches and still be the person that I wanted to be would come in handy on our next obstacle on the Pacific Crest Trail. <laughs> you didn't stick the landing.
Maybe he to say it. Yeah, I think so. He kind of is. He knows we're there. Well, I saw it, and it looked like a branch. Yeah. And so I moved it. And, yeah. And it didn't move, so I figured it was dead. It looks like he also ate something. Yeah. His middle looks kind of big. Yeah. Interesting. sharing a trail with a deer. I feel you, deer. That's what happens when I have to pee on one of these trails. Yeah. Is this like a Disney movie? Is it showing us something fantastic? 
Is it leading us? Hmm? It went for her fall. And, and stole it. it. up the hill, he chased, chased it down. Say that again? I was asleep in my bag and my poles were over there because that's where I started out before the sun got me. And I was taking a nap and it literally grabbed my trekking pole in the mouth and I like, ran up the hill and he chased it away. At this point, our friend Raponso was not having a good time in Northern California and had left to do her own thing. And on top of that, our friend Grandpappy wanted to do bigger miles. So now it was just the two of us. This part of the trail has so many deer. We ended up following a deer for literally two minutes. And every night we ended up putting our two other trekking poles under our vestibule in our tent. This is because deer like salt. As the day was ending, we ended up finding a spot by this really cool cabin. However, the weather had turned really bad, and lightning and storms were coming. So after cleaning our feet and grabbing some water for the morning, we decided it was time to go to bed. I know that seems like a great place, but I don't know that I'd trust you. You're very cute though. Fading over there, so. Cool. They're so long. The light. Uh, the light. Thunder? Mm hmm. The thunder would end up not being very sweet, as just before we went to sleep that night, someone came into our camp stating they had seen lightning strike the side of a nearby mountain and saw flames erupt from the spot. I would wake in the middle of the night to the smell of smoke, as if someone had a campfire lit right outside of our tent. There's lightning. Hello? I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, you're not any good. Also, she, I can't even see you. So, it doesn't even matter.